Oh, we're gonna have to move his room around a little bit, I think. <laughs> That's cool. What do you think, Owen? Do you like it? Yo, sup? Placed it. Thank you so much for your help, Brandon. Hey, you should totally chat with Sally. You guys, I think we finally, I think we're gonna get it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Guess what I have for you. Nico came over for a little chat the other day. It was surprisingly lovely. Oh. Ugh. I'm just so uncomfortable all of the time. You guys, how do we complete these quests? Do I just like set it here? And say, hey, look at this. Because I feel like last time I did a villager quest for furniture, it gave me the option, but you know what, you guys? Maybe we, ac we actually do have to make it because it's not going to pop up <laughs> as an option unless I do make it. That's a distinct possibility. I'm not sure. Oh, it's you, Brandon. Having a good day, are we? Yeah, we are. I think I do have to make it, you guys. Okay, fine. Fine, Oleander. I will make you a real side table. I will. I'll do it. Don't say I never did anything nice for you, buddy. Okay, guys, so I spent some time making a table. It's not great, but it's interesting. I think it's kind of nice. I mean, I'm pretty new at the design tool, and we're going to talk more about this in a future episode, but for now, this is probably good for a side table. So I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that uh, our friend Oleander will like this. So his quest, hey look, it says ready now. Or if that means I can deliver it to him. Nikos doesn't say ready, but I did, I mean, I did change the interior. Maybe it's the wrong floor though. I guess I could try a different floor. Let's find Oleander. Oleander. Oleander, maybe he's at home. Let's see if he's home. Nope, he's not home. Oh, yes he was. He was hiding. Okay, let's see if we can complete his quest. Hey, buddy. Yes, yes. Hello, you two. Grumbles. In my day, youngsters would wait until they were spo spoken to. Made it. There we go. I hope he likes it. He did not like the last one. Like, wait, what if I try to give him this one? What will he do? I can't give him that one. It has to be this one. All right. Nice, I think this is all right. Okay, hey, you're all right with that decoration stuff. Can you pop in my home? Sure I can. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna put his old one back because I feel bad for taking it. So let's put that here. And we'll put his lamp on it. Actually, we'll just pop the new one down here. Yeah, it's okay, it's not great. This can't really fit, I guess we could put it here. Yeah. It's all right. You like that, buddy? What do you think? Can I talk to him? Will he say anything about the quest being done? Placed it. Thank you. I love it, here's a watermelon sweater. A watermelon sweater, what? <laughs> oh, I love the watermelon sweater. That is so cool. I love it, thank you. Okay, so let's see if we can do the quest first. It, uh, what if we go in here? Maybe it's the wrong floor. Hey guys, I am back. So during the break while filming this video, I posted another video earlier trying to do this quest for Nico. And one of you guys pointed out, hey, Nico asks for a floor that's like super durable, that doesn't need to be like uh, cleaned or maintained or something like that. So they were like, you should have gotten vinyl. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you are absolutely right. I really should have gotten 
vinyl <laughs> for Nico. But there was no vinyl in the shop, so we definitely messed up that quest. But that's okay, you know what? Because there's going to be other villager quests. Hi, Nico! Hi, what's up? And I have news also in the in between of filming this video. I moved in a new villager, Owen. I made a bed. I made a bed for Owen, and I moved Owen into this. Is it this house? Yes. So Owen has a house. And I think we're still at the point where Owen is in boxes. Yes. Look at this bed, you guys. I'm so silly. I tried to make a four poster bed, <laughs> and it's like a baby bed. I don't even know how Owen's gonna get in there, but you can sleep in it. It does work. It just, it's a baby bed. Owen, sorry about the baby bed. Hi, what's up, buddy? Welcome. How's it going? Yes, this is all my stuff. So weird seeing it in boxes. Yeah, you have the same wallpaper as Nico. I don't know how Nico's gonna feel about that. Could you give me a hand? Sure I can, buddy. Okay, he wants me to help out with his boxes. So let's open it. Ooh, nice guitar. Well, I guess we'll just put that here. So I love the idea that I get to actually help my villagers decorate their house. It is really exciting, and we're going to definitely do something with this house in the future. But here's your bed, Owen. See, look, it actually does work. See, watch. It works. It might be kind of weird. Like, I don't know how you... It's just... It's weird. I, I don't... I thought... I tried making the holes taller, but that's as tall as they go. So I think they need to be at least twice as tall as that. So we're going to actually... We're going to steal the bed. No, you know what? We're going to leave it. Because it looks... Then we can remember. Hey... We messed up the bed. Whenever we go into Owen's house, we'll see that. Okay, so here's what I want to focus on for this second half of this episode. I want to continue doing villager quests and um, try to unlock that new area. You know this amazing new area up here? One of you guys commented that you can actually make a ramp to get up here without actually getting the recipe for stairs from Sally. There's a way around it. Um, we might do that, but I think I'm just gonna try to get the stairs, the stair recipe from Sally first. And if I can't get it, we'll figure something out. What time is it? Let's see if that expensive butterfly is flying around. Not yet. Remind me to come back in here at noon, because that fancy butterfly that sells for 120 something paw bucks flies around the town around that time. Did I ever show you guys this? I don't remember. I found this clothesline in the store and I thought it was really cool, so I put it out here to help with the ambiance of our village. Where's Oleander? Buddy, did you were you over here and I didn't see you? And the monarch butterfly. I don't know where he is. Oh, that's one of the fancy butterflies, you guys. That's one. Of, so they come out earlier than noon? The blue morpho. Yeah, you guys, those those things sell for 124 paw bucks. So we're gonna look around for more blue morphos. That's a different kind of blue butterfly. Maybe around this time, it's good to just skip the other butterflies and just go for the blue morphos. I don't know. Of course, now I'm not seeing any more. So they must come in here earlier than noon, because it's... No, it's noon. Okay. So right around noon, they're going to be spawning. Maybe even a little before. Who knows? But they only do spawn in this area back here. All right. Let's go try to find... Um, Oleander. And then we're gonna build another house and move another resident in, because there's someone who's waiting to be moved in, actually. Oleander, he's coming down here a lot lately. Like, just hanging out by the train tracks. Buddy, why are you hanging out down here so much? Oh, hi. Need anything? Yes, yes, yes. I need to get one Cleopatra. Oh, the butterfly? Sure, no problem. What does the Cleopatra look like? Um... What does it look like? Peacock Cleopatra is in the meadow. So it's the little yellow one. Oh, those are all, those are flying around all the time. Okay, let's see if we can go find one. I know they fly around at night. I don't know if they fly around during the day. I'm pretty sure they fly around during the day, but that should be an easy quest to fulfill. It's just like, really fun and satisfying catching butterflies. I don't know what it is about this, but it's a fun little activity. Yeah, those Cleopatras, like, they will glow. They glow yellow, like, they're pretty bright yellow at night. So if we can't find any, 
How is there a weed growing on my bridge? That's weird. <laughs> That's very strange. If I can't find any Cleopatra butterflies, how much time do we have on the quest? Oh, four days. Okay. We'll find some. Cleopatra, that's not you. You're not Cleopatra, but you're gonna make me some money anyway. I can't wait to unlock the new area, you guys. So I guess from what I can understand, when you've done enough quests for villagers, one of them will ask you to go talk to Sally or check your, wait, is it check your mail? I don't know, either check your mail or go talk to Sally. And then Sally will give you the recipe for the, stairs that you can use to make a little stairway to get up to the second to that little second level whatever it's called up there but there's no butterflies no cleopatra i don't know why i've gotten british sorry there's no cleopatra butterflies so let's go ahead and sleep till nighttime we're gonna borrow um nico's house here we're gonna sleep for six hours that'll put us at 19 o'clock and I'm pretty sure they buzz around at night. I mean, I caught so many of those. I wish I remembered when they when they were around. So, like I said, oh, there's one, there's one. Yes, we got it. There he is. Hey, Oleander, guess what? Here you go. Here is your Cleopatra butterfly. <gasps> this is perfect, Brandon. Here's a black shorts in return. Thanks, buddy. Let's talk to him again. I accidentally ended up at a live gig the other night and I wondered, when did all these bands get so young? <laughs> I've talked to him a lot, you guys, and I'm still seeing new dialogue. Like, you know, sometimes they repeat the same dialogue, but it's been there's been a lot of new dialogue. I haven't seen the same dialogue repeated too many times. Hey there, how are you doing? Need anything, Nico? Brandon, I think I'd like to update the roof pattern on my house. It's not really my style. Sure, buddy, we can do that. That's an easy quest, you guys. Okay, let's do that. I wonder if the shop's still open. I don't think it is. Nope, okay. So let's catch this butterfly real quick. Then we're gonna go to, we're gonna sleep at the inn. Um, I think you guys, in order to unlock the catalog, I think we need to have a house. I can't remember exactly because it's been a while since I played the beta, but I think we have to have our own house to unlock the catalog. So we need to work on that too. We have a lot of stuff to do. Well, hey buddy, what's up Pip? How's it going? Okay, let's go upstairs and go to sleep. Sleep until tomorrow. And then we're gonna, we're gonna replace the roof. How long do we have on the quest? Three days, okay. New roof pattern. Hi, Oma. What's up? All right, so we're gonna go here. It is so dark in the morning. Okay, so is this the roof pattern? Yeah, light wood roof. Okay, let's get that. Let's go change it and see if that completes the quest. I don't, I don't know what the existing pattern is, but there's Nico. Hi, Nico. Let's say good morning to Nico. How's your day going? It's going great, Nico. Thanks for asking. We're gonna go do the pattern on your roof. It's the same thing though, you guys. I don't know if it'll... We changed it. Let me check my... Okay, it says it's ready. So it must've worked. Let's go talk to Nico. That was easy. Hi, Nico. Guess what? Oh, we're in the trees. We did, we did your house. Looks great, thanks. Here's a buttoned blue t-shirt. Cool, let's try that on. Thanks, Nico. Hey, Brandon. Good to see you. You too, Nico. Have a nice day. Yeah, yeah, I'm having a nice day. Thank you. Okay, let's try on this new shirt. I like my... That's cute, but I like my watermelon sweater. <laughs> okay. So now, you guys, let's go talk to Owen and see if Owen has any quests for us. Is that thunder? It's thunder. Owen! Owen's here, right? Yeah. I think Owen's adorable. 
Hey, Owen. Need anything, Owen? Ah, actually, I need a new table. Could you put one together for me? Sure. Thinking I should start having more of a rustic vibe going at home. You know, wooden stuff. Mostly wooden, sure. Sure, buddy. Okay, we can do that. So that quest will take us a little more time, but I've been wanting to kind of try out the design tool a little more so we can do that. All right, let's go in here and let's take care of this table. We have the recipe. I actually bought a few more recipes from Sally. Hi, Sally Benali. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Buy stuff. Okay, actually, I don't need to buy anything. I think we're good. I think we have enough to do the table. We might need some wood, though. What do I have in my inventory? Actually, I have 11 planks. We might be okay. Let's do it. Create new blueprint. Small object, large object, table. That's what we need. Okay, he said he wants it to be rustic. All right, so here we go. Here we go, guys. Design tool. Oh, we could make him a like a super rustic table. Wouldn't that be cool? What if we did like... What if we did one of these? Let me see how this is gonna look. Let's resize this. Yes. Can I bring it down a little bit though? It's a little too thick. Yeah, there we go. This is gonna be cool. Can I get any bigger? No, I can't get any bigger. Okay, let's move it upwards a little bit. If it's a table. I wonder how tall it needs to be. I kind of wish, oh. There we go. So I feel like I should probably, oh, should, does it need to be that tall? I don't know how tall, but let's move it up. Uh, add stuff, let's, oops, nope, don't do that. I just wanna get back to my, Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna move this up a little bit. I think that's too high up, but this is maybe good. Somewhere in there. You know, we can always edit it too, you guys. Okay, we're gonna turn off guides. Okay, so now we wanna add, we wanna add some rustic uh, legs to it. Are those too thin? That could be interesting. Let's rotate them. Let's rotate them up this way. And then let's bring it up here. Maybe I'll move the tabletop down so that it's the same. Okay, that touches the ground, yeah. Okay, let's rotate it in this direction, maybe. Uh, wait, how would this work? Actually, maybe like that. That's cool. Okay, now let's bring the tabletop down so that it touches the top of that. Hope this isn't too low for a table, but it just seemed like maybe it was too high before. I don't know. That's cool. So then what if we, what if we copy these, duplicate, and this one will move to the opposite side over here. And we'll do like four of these legs, but we need to rotate this. So let's rotate this in the opposite direction like that. Yeah. Okay, then we'll just try to move it so it's mirrored over here. So that would be kind of like that. Yeah. Okay, so then we just need two more of these. So we're gonna duplicate that. I think this is a nice rustic table, you guys. It's really simple and rustic. Okay, we actually want to go the other way. So we want to go like that, I think. Yeah. Is that right? Oh no, it needs to go the other way. So it needs to have that side in, like this. Okay, then we'll move that in here. I'm still going the wrong way. Well, this could be the other side. Yeah, it can be on this side. Because <laughs> it's still facing the wrong way. I've told you guys this earlier, but I actually really like this design tool because this is a lot like the software that I used in college 
called 3D Max to design 3D spaces. It's so much like this. So, and so I'm actually really comfortable using this kind of software. Okay, so we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna move this over here and this way. And then we're gonna rotate it the exact opposite way. Yeah, because we want that to be inside there. Like that. Okay, cool. So that's pretty close. Let me see if I can move this a little closer in. And that should be... What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? I love it. Okay, we're gonna save this as a rustic table. Dining table. All right, hi Sally. Hi Sally Finale. <laughs> She's so cute. This town's adorable. Okay, where is, is Owen here? Let's go talk to Owen. Hopefully he's still at home. Owen, guess what? I made you a rustic table. I hope he likes it. Hey there, I made it. Because I made a table one time for... Oh good, he likes it. Sure, buddy, I can do that. Cheers, okay. So let me see, let me open up my inventory. And then we're gonna put it like, oh, that is nice, it's big. Okay, I'm glad I didn't make it too big then because it's a pretty good size. Oh, we're gonna have to move his room around a little bit, I think. <laughs> That's cool. What do you think, Owen, do you like it? Yo, sup, placed it. Thank you so much for your help, Brandon. Hey, you should totally chat with Sally. I think we finally, I think we're gonna get it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I am so happy right now. I think we did it, you guys. I think we did it. Sally, 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 Finale, Sally, Sally. Hey, how's it going? Buy stuff. <gasps> Helps you retire places, yes. You guys! Okay, so in the next episode, we're gonna be reaching higher places. So, actually, wait. I kinda wanna do it right now. <laughs> let's do it. What do we need? What do we need to build the stairs? Okay, so let's see. Create a new, uh, new from blueprint. I just, I really wanna reach that new place, you guys. We're doing it. This might be a longer episode, but hey. Okay, short stairs. So the short stairs need to be max size. So just stairs, right? We have plenty of these. Let's make it kind of rustic because our bridge, our bridge is pretty rustic. So let's rotate this. R. So we're gonna set it first, then we're gonna rotate it. And that's resize. Rotate. Okay, then we'll resize it so it's longer. So how tall? Oh, oh, the stairs go that way. Oh, good thing I looked at the guides. Well, that's very helpful.
You guys, this is perfect. I like this. I think it's gonna work great. Okay, let's save it. Stairs. Okay, okay, okay. You guys, it's time. It is time to open up and unlock this new area. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Can we place it right there? 